Hello YouTube land, it's Debbie from the Canadian Crotchetter. Today is Wednesday, August 5th, um, and I wasn't going to post this week, but we have internet at the cottage! <laughs> we are up here for our um, a vacation, we've taken a week, my husband's taken a week, well he says he's taken a week, but he's on conference calls every day. Um, anyway, this was supposed to be my week to knit and crochet and read, uh, but I just finished helping them take up flooring. So we currently have no more of the old flooring in the house. Um, it is all just uh, plywood subfloor. Um, but anyway, I want to test the internet up here to see if I can upload from here. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. We're actually like watching movies, streaming movies. So I'm assuming if we can stream movies, I can upload as well. So fingers crossed that I get this up there. If not, I'll do a video next week. Um, I'll be, and there is another reason why I'm coming on here, but I'll hold off that uh, in a little bit. Uh, while I have you on here, I'm going to show you what I've been doing this last few days. The first thing, I'm going to show you the first FO. Well, I only have one FO, actually. <laughs> I have some whips. The first one is I found this fro Frozen Leaves Beanie Crochet Pattern. Okay, um, it is by Julie Shepard. Now, these patterns, I do not remember if they are paid for or uh, free, but I'll leave the link and you guys can figure it out. Um, anyway, I did this. Now, I'm always looking for ways. To, I have a lot of cake yarns, like one color, one um, cake of one color. So I'm just trying to find a way to do it. So I made this. Oh, my God, it's so cute. It is so cute. Where is the seam? I don't know where the seam is. Oh, here it is. So let me show you the good side. Is that not adorable? Oh my goodness. And it was so much fun to do. Now, a uh, couple of things on it. There, the cake is using Karen Cakes uh, and the colorway is Pumpkin Spice. There was another color in here, like a reddish pink color, and it ended after this yellow, and I did the top, and it honestly, it looked like a boob. So I took it out and then I just added this color back in over there. So that's the color controlling that I did. That's the only color controlling I did. Anyway, it turned out really, really cute. And, but of course, we knew it was going to be big. Now, um, the pattern calls for a 6 millimeter hook. And, but if you want to downsize, go 5 millimeter, 5 millimeter or 5.5 millimeter. I used the exact same yarn that she did and I went to a 5 millimeter and it is still very big. The problem is the difficulty in making it a different size is the repeat is something like 17 stitches or something so it's very difficult to make it um, uh, a different size. So I might, I actually have another cake here in a different colorway. I might actually try it with a four millimeter, four and a half maybe. But the good thing about this pattern is extremely well written. I loved it. It was so much fun. If you, I don't consider this a beginner pattern only because there is a lot of front post and back post crochet. If you're comfortable with doing front post and back post, you'll have no problem with this. Um, it was a lot of fun. And the pattern also gives you this, this little guide as to what the uh, average sizes uh, of head circumference, hat circumference, and length from preemie all the way to large adult. So that makes it good because then I don't have to go looking for that. So I highly recommend this pattern and the hat turned out really good. The only thing that I would do differently and I'm going to do this in the next one is so where she gets you to end it's quite dense because of all the front post double crochets. So I had a hard time closing it because it's just a cinch, a cinching of the hat. So the next one I'm going to just the last row, I'm going to get to where I want to cinch it, the last row I'm going to do either like double crochet or half double crochet so there's not so much bulk right at the top. But otherwise I'm extremely pleased with this hat. I love it. I can see myself doing many more. I found a way to use my cakes. That's awesome. So highly recommend that. I'm also working on a, which I also have issues with this one too. Uh, it's called the Pixie Dust Summer Tea 
by Creation Crochet. Um, okay, so now this is actually an adorable little top. It has like um, a little, on the back it has like a diamond window like lace work and then the sleeves as well have lace work. So I looked it up and I thought, it's adorable, I wanna try it. And the yard, I'm making a large, and it says 370, uh, she used Red Heart Fashion Soft, or you could use any number three lightweight yarn. Uh, and it calls for 370 yards of number three. Well, I didn't, I wanted to use this. So this is, Knit Picks Comfy Color Mist. Oh, come on. I'm fighting with the light here today. We've had rain all week. The, light, the sun is just starting to come out. And uh, yeah, today's Wednesday. It's just, and it's already like 5 p.m. And it's only starting to come out now. I hope it gets better. Anyway, it's Comfy Color Mist. It says it's a number four, but Trust me, it's it's a light four, um, if it is. Uh, the color is EE15, and it is 75% Pima cotton and 25% acrylic. I didn't have my Swift, so I just balled it up, which I think works great. I just put this in a, uh, a bowl that I have, and it just keeps it from rolling around. Anyway, this is what I have so far. Oh, look at the color. It's like a black and gray and cream. I love it so much and it is buttery. I actually love working with this yarn. It is just feels so nice and soft and buttery and just love it. My problem is, so each of these hanks is 219 yards and I had two hanks. So that's 420, 438 uh, yards, which is much more than the 370 that is called for. And, but this is already one hank. And this is, this is gonna be the back. So this has got to here, and now I'm gonna start the diamond shape. So I still have this to do. I still have the back to do. It looks like there's a band at the bottom and the two sleeves. So I only have one hank left. So I'm not sure that I'm going to have enough. Now my other option is I have one more hank of this yarn, but it's a different color. It's a lighter gray. So maybe I'll do the band in the lighter gray, gray and the sleeves. I don't know. It's a little disappointing because technically I should have enough yarn, but it does not look like it. It really doesn't. Like if this is the back and I still have all this to do and the sleeves and the back and the band, I don't know. So wish me luck. I hope I have enough, or I'm gonna have a two-tone sweater uh, a tea. I guess she calls it a tea. So I've been working on that. Now, the last thing that I've been working on. Now I don't normally watch a lot of yarn hauls because I am a sheep. I get influenced like that, but I do watch. Crystal from Bag o Days Yarn Hauls. And the reason is, I have learned to trust her judgment. Um, she, I, I've completely agreed with any of the yarn that she has uh, talked about and then I've purchased, I agree with her opinion. So, you know. Anyway, she was talking about Mandala watercolors. And normally I don't buy from Lion Brand because up here, it's extremely, sorry about the noise, my husband's laptop keeps going off. Um, it's extremely expensive to ship to Canada. So I don't buy, I try to wait until it comes to Canada or, or you know, and I, yeah, just wait till it comes. But I found that it, it rarely comes. Like they had Mandela Ombre, we still don't have it up here. Um, so anyway, I didn't want to miss out on this one. And I'm so glad that I listen because this is amazing. This is like a roving. Oh my God, I love it so much. Oh, this one's labels, not very good. Um, so this is a Mandala watercolors, the colorway is Skyway. It's number five bulky. You get 164 yards or 105, 150 meters 
Where's the content? 75 acrylic, 15 wool, and 10% nylon. And I love working with it. So when I got this, and I was also looking for the, um, the Mandela roving, but they're sold out like, like crazy. They're just, well, I ordered this, oh God, maybe a week and a half, two weeks ago, and they were sold out then. And I just checked today and they're still sold out. So it must be some good stuff. But anyway, I'm rambling. So I went looking for a pattern to use with this and I knew I wanted a knitting pattern and I knew I wanted a big frumpy turtleneck. Uh, but I, I like cozy, thick stuff like that. So I found this one and again, I don't know if it's paid for or not. It's called Four Strands and it's a stash busting, stash busting sweater pattern by Kelly Forster. And there's the, the sweater. Anyway, she used like four different scraps of different uh, thicknesses, you know, lace weight, uh, DK, like she just mixed it all up, which I thought is an amazing idea and I'll definitely do that. But I, I'm holding two strands of the Mandela watercolors. Now this is how much I've got done so far. It is amazing. So I'm not sure how this is going to go, but basically you do the, you start here, it's a raglan type and you go down and um, then you're wondering, well Debbie, what is that orange thing? I did a provisional cast on, I'm so excited. Um, it's one of those things that I think, oh my God, it sounds so scary, but it really isn't when <laughs> I tried it. And it's basically using a crochet chain to hold, and then you work into the chain, and it's to hold these stitches live because when you finish the body of the sweater, you're gonna come back and you're gonna attach the yarn here. You're gonna pull the provisional cast, the orange, and you're gonna uh, run your needles through there and work up this way. Um, anyway, I am so thrilled with my progress and this one, uh, it's very difficult and they're not, it's not great, but I'm learning how to do make one right and make one left and I might have made a mistake here and there, but overall I'm very pleased with this. Um, yeah, it's supposed to go fast because you do use, I'm using very big knitting needles, but it's knitting. It goes slow for me anyway. I am so thrilled and this yarn, <laughs> I love it so much. I might have to put in another order, even though the shipping, oh my goodness. So that's what I've been working on. Hopefully I have six skeins. I'm hoping that that's enough to finish it. Now, that's all I've been working on. Um, the second reason that I wanted to, uh, uh, besides testing the internet here, I wanted to come on today was, it turns out, okay, so the, I've had comments and emails of people saying, oh my God, you're at 8,000 subscribers. And to be honest with you, I don't look at that too often. I'm not saying I never look at it, but I don't look at it too often. Um, the reason that I started this was to meet like-minded people, um, which, you know, the, the, uh, the expectations that I had for, for the outcome of this channel superseded any expectations that I've had. Um, I wanted to just meet people and which I've done. I've met some amazing, amazing people through this channel and, uh, yeah, I have no other expectations of this channel. So, to meet 8,000 subscribers, like, first of all, it blows my mind, but I'm not one that does the keeping track of, you know, like I really don't keep track of the analytics or anything like that. So, but it's 8,000 subscribers. So we're going to do a little giveaway. Um, I'm going to announce it today. Leave a comment down below. Um, it doesn't matter what you, what you comment. It would be great if you are a subscriber. Um, and then I'm going to leave it open till the last day of the month. So August 31st. And the only reason for that is I've noticed that some people, it takes like most people don't watch within a few days. They'll take, you know, two, three weeks, which is fine. 
and I don't want anybody missing out on this. Um, so August 31st it closes and then September 1st I will pick a winner. I have no idea what I'm giving away yet. Um, when I get back home I'll figure it out. Maybe I'll show it, maybe I'll leave it as a surprise. I don't know. But uh, to celebrate 8,000 leave a comment and I'll pick one winner. Um, yeah. Uh, speaking of my channel, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk a little bit of my, my channel. Like I said, I don't look at the analytics, but someone made a comment to me or sent me an email asking me why my thumbs up and thumbs down you can't see anymore, uh, and that is purposeful. I turned that feature off uh, for a couple of different reasons, um, but the main reason is every time I open up the video to make a comment. Um, that's the first thing you see. How many thumbs up, how many thumbs down. And I did not want the negativity. If they would just leave the thumbs up, I'd be happy. But right beside the thumbs up is the thumbs down and I don't, I don't need that negativity. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not getting a lot of thumbs down. But it's inevitable. Uh, especially since I've noticed that I, I, you know, a few times I have tracked it. Within the first hour I'll get you know, one or two thumbs down and you know, it's like you're not even watching the video. So it must be somebody who's just stalking me and saying, you're getting a thumbs down, even if, though I'm not going to, I have no intention of watching the video. So that's fine. I don't need that. I don't need to be slapped in the face every time I open up my video. So um, I, it is still available. YouTube still collects it. So by all means, if you want to give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, YouTube still collects that analytic uh, or that data. Um, and I, I can see it, but I actually have to go into the editing portion of the video to see it. Um, yeah, so I will look at it only if I feel like it. There are some people out there who are just not nice and uh, I don't want to give them a platform. I don't want to get obsessive over thumbs down, but I don't understand that either because from what I understand, the thumbs up and the thumbs down basically mean the same thing. The analytic is collecting um, activity. So you can give me a thumbs down, it means the same thing. <laughs> so it'll push, the, the analytic will, uh, YouTube's analytics will push my video up whether you give me a thumbs down or thumbs up. You know, but thumbs up makes me feel better. But anyway, so if you feel the need to um, give me a thumbs down, by all means, you know, it's so easy to just give somebody a negative thumbs down without, you know, backing up your opinion or whatever, you know, why? Are you afraid you're going to get blocked? Yeah, you're not going to get blocked if you're polite about it. If you're going to be nasty, you're going to get blocked. That's just it, you know. I'm not doing this um, to get bashed, to get beaten. <laughs> That's silly. Anyway, and then the other the last thing I wanted to, to touch on was this, with regards to this channel, um, I have been approached, I don't even want to tell you how many times, to promote product on this channel. And I've turned down 99.9% .9 of them. Uh, the one time that I did, it was Lovecrafts. And to me, that was amazing because it's a yarn company or a yarn reseller. And some because of my co collaboration with them, someone... One of my viewers got some really nice yarn. That kind of stuff I don't mind. But I'm getting contacted with regards to, you know, showcasing jewelry, showcasing a video game. A video game. The last time I played a video game, it was Miss Pac Man, and you had to sit at the table, you know, the little the machine. I don't play video games. I have no idea. How can I possibly promote that? So, if you are a company that, that wants to reach out to me and you're not into yarn or anything yarny related or needles, hooks, you know, swifts, whatever, save, save your energy because uh, I'm not, I, will not, uh, I will not promote anything. I will not even try anything that is not yarny related. That's all this is about. So, uh, yeah, anyway. <laughs> I am done and we're about 20 minutes, which is perfect. I'm going to see how long this takes to upload. Um, I've been having, um, oh my goodness, my life is like all over the place. 
did I tell you guys my daughter broke her foot? She broke, so here's your foot, the three, and here's the toes, the three bones. I think they're called metatarsals. I think. That's a big word for me, so <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. The three bones in, in her foot are broken and she's in a cast. She's been in a cast for quite a few weeks. I think she has what, like another three or four weeks. So what what she's been doing is she's been staying with her boyfriend for a week so he takes care of her and then she comes home for a week and then I take care of her and then back and forth you know so that no one person gets extremely tired of you know taking care of her uh, yeah it's 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 been crazy so <laughs> and my mom moved so I'm doing laundry again oh oh I miss her already <laughs> but uh, she's doing well she's finished her quarantine in Fredericton and you know, the day that she finished her quarantine, my daughter was planning this. She and her family have taken my mom uh, on a little vacation to Nova Scotia. Yay! So, <laughs> it's, uh, she's, she's loving it. So, she's having a good time. But, uh, yeah, I got to do laundry. Anyway, um, I think that's all I have for now. I hope everyone is having a, as good a week as I am. And, uh, yeah, leave a comment down below. August 31st at midnight, it shuts off at 11.59. Um, you know the rules. Uh, YouTube is not affiliated. Nobody, is, nobody but me is affiliated with this giveaway. You must be over the age of 18. And uh, I will, send, I will uh, send it internationally as long as your country will allow you to receive it. Um, and once it gets to you, if there are any duties and taxes, I have no control over that. You will be responsible for that or the shipment will be abandoned. Um, what else? I think that's it. I think that's it. September 1st, I'll make a draw, and uh, you'll get a little gift from me. Anyway, that's all. Of, that's enough babbling. I will let you go, and I hope, uh, I hope you're having a wonderful uh, day, week, month, <laughs> and we will talk soon.